Hello my YouTube family. How is everybody doing today? My name is Tina and I am the creator of the blog and YouTube channel Blessed and Beautiful Homestead and today just so happens to be Mother's Day. So I wanted to take this opportunity to wish all of my homesteading and homeschooling mama friends out there a very very happy Mother's Day. It is well deserved and I hope you have a beautifully blessed day today. A few weeks ago we did a video on how to build your own own garden hoop house out of cattle fence panels and I'll link that video here and that video has been doing really well so that tells me that you guys like that content and that also a lot of you out there are wanting to build one of these on your property we thought that it would be a great idea to show you guys the sprinkler system that we installed in here to make watering so much easier So when Joe and I were looking up how to do sprinkler systems in greenhouses, hoop houses, we were actually really surprised at the lack of content that we were able to find um, to help us figure out how to run it, what kind of sprinklers to buy. And that's why we thought this would be a really good idea to do this video for you guys so that if you have created this wonderful hoop house already on your property, you can just follow along on this video. And we are gonna link all of these things in the description box of this video. So the kind of sprinklers, the size of the PVC piping and everything will be linked below. So you have that list there to help you out. So it's a pretty simple system. All we have here is our hose inlet. And what we've got ran throughout uh, for the sprinkler system is half inch PVC piping. Joe drilled a hole through the wood here and we put the inlet through that and we just hooked the garden hose up to that inlet. And then if you come inside the hoop house, you can see here it's just run through that wood along the ground. Then it just comes up the door frame. So it comes up the door frame and there's another elbow here. And that just goes up to the sprinkler system. So this is just ran all the way down the center of the hoop house. So one of the things Joe found, like I was saying, it was hard to figure out what kind of sprinkler to purchase for this. They, the ones that we had bought were just dumping water, way too much water, and it was drowning the plants. So the type of sprinklers that we purchased are garden misting nozzles, and they're half inch. Just to show you guys up close what they look like. And they give off a perfect mist for the plants that waters them really well but it doesn't drown them. I think they're adjustable too. You can spin this in and out. Okay, so Joe says they're adjustable too. So you can spin that for what, like how much water flow you want? Oh, that's perfect, I didn't know that. And we just zip tied, uh, as you can see, we just zip tied the PVC pipe up to the cattle panel. Okay. We have a 10 by 20 foot hoop house here and we have a total of five sprinklers and um, they're run from the front to the back and it is just the perfect amount to get all the plants watered. So we bought a lot of different sprinklers that didn't work before we found the ones that do work. Don't waste your money on those. Just take our advice and buy these awesome misting sprinklers. They work perfectly. So. We are going to show you guys what it looks like when we water the hoop house. The one thing that is still a little, uh, I guess you call it ghetto-fied, is we, you know, we have some greenhouse, uh, well, just some box fans in here. And of course, we need to cover these up when we water in here so that it's not getting the fans all wet. So all we did was cut a piece of the hoop house plastic here and attached it to the window and then we just untie it and roll the plastic down over the fan when we water and then roll it back up when we're done. And it keeps the fan from getting wet. Is 
So I'm standing back a little bit because I don't want to get the camera wet. So hopefully you guys can see. The sprinklers are on. And it's just like a light rain, it's perfect. So that's all there is to it, you guys. It makes watering the hoop house super simple. Um, I hope you enjoyed this really quick video. I just wanted to share it with you, um, just in case you've got a hoop house of your own and you were struggling like we were trying to figure out what kind of sprinklers, what sizes, and all that good stuff. So like I said, I'm gonna link everything in the description box for you, and if you found this video helpful, just give us a thumbs up. That tells YouTube that you liked it and they will share it with others. And also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe while you're here. That way we can stay connected. All right, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today and we will see you on the next video.